What's going on everybody, David here. Today we're talking travel photography, astrophotography specifically with the Sony a7R 3 So I was on a trip about a month ago and I took this camera with me. So I've had this camera for a little over a month and I was able to take some, some really good shots, some astrophotography shots. And I just wanted to kind of go over my settings and, and the kind of the setup that I use. So first off with the lens, I have a wide angle lens. This is a Rokinon 14 millimeter f2.8 lens and this worked really well um, you want to have a wide angle lens so you want to have a 14 millimeter or 12 millimeter you want to make sure it's f2.8 or lower so f2.8 f2 f1.8 f1.4 that's the range that you want to be in you want to let as much light in as possible uh, you also want to flip your lens over to manual focus so you want to use manual focus and you want to use focus peaking so focus peaking you'll have the little marching ants around uh, what's in focus. So you want to make sure you do that as well. Uh, 3200 ISO is, is probably where you want to be with an 8 to 15 second exposure. You don't want the exposure to be too long because if it's too long then you'll start seeing kind of the stars will kind of streak. It'll look like little commas. You don't want that. You want the, the stars to look like stars. Uh, you also want a flashlight. So if you can bring a flashlight with you that would be good because you want to be able to focus and uh, the setting that I was in, I wanted to focus on the ancient ruins in front and then have the stars uh, in the background. So f2.8, make sure it's at f2.8 when you're shooting because that, for the best results, that's what you want. Now with this camera, it has noise reduction. You want to turn the noise reduction off because if you keep the noise reduction on, let's say you take a 15 second exposure, you'll have to wait another 15 seconds for the image to process. It will do the noise reduction and it'll process, it'll take 15 15 more seconds. So in order to avoid that, just turn it off. When you get home in Lightroom, you can go ahead and edit that. And that, that's the way I like to do it anyway. So uh, all in all, I had a good experience with this camera and the battery was fine. I didn't have any issues with that. And I was able to take some pretty good shots with it. But uh, more importantly, let's start a conversation about this. What do you guys think? Have you used this camera for astrophotography? What lenses do you use? Uh, if you have any questions, you can post them in the comments below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more, and I'll talk to you later.